It's better than soul spray to win game or you can play the game without even paying. So actually I will talk about the game is pay to win or not. So let's put things super simple as I, what I will say. Any MMOs as this game is MMO is pay to win. Is that something whatever the game you are playing is something normal. Put all of these things on your mind. Whatever the MMO you will play, you ha it's have to be pay to win. Hawaii it's pay to win. And the Hawaii it's not almost there is no MMOs is not pay to win. And the answer is super simple. What you are playing on games like this is different than any other games. If I will say you are playing something like League of Legends as a resemble, playing something like Dota 2, this games is super fair. So whatever you will pay for is paying for some skins, paying for some points, for some anything will not affect your gameplay. Like I am level one, you are level one, both of us is the same power and we have no problems with this. But I am looking better than you as I have a better skin than you. Just nothing more. This ten will affect your damage? No. This if this ten will affect your defense or anything like this? No. Also, so I have no advantage on you. But sins is, is a lot different for MMOs. As an example, if I will pay for something like that and some cosmetics or anything like this, for sure that's not pay to win. That's pay to enjoy. But when I am paying something like, let's go to the shop as an example. If I will go to the shop as like this, this items or this sins is paid to win. Like I did this materials for sure. You can get it from the game. I can get it from the game. I can go for dungeons and spend my, as example one hour and I will get it. But I can pay some money and I will get it a lot easier. And I can get like 25 as example from this. So easy. For sure, sins like this, it's not for me not something i can put for the game or i say it's pay to win or anything like this or not something big to say but if i will say as example cosmetics again pay for this not pay to win pay to enjoy let's go for something different if i will go for chests like this so this chest you will have to buy it with uh, coins from the game and actually Maybe you can buy it with your HM coins that you can gain per the game and it's something like closer to the item or to the currency you can buy with a real money. So if I will say I will get something like this, I can get it with HM coins, but look, there is no specials here. So to get this chest, I have to pay. So if I will pay, that means it's pay to win. But the point actually it's not about pay to win or not. It's actually something else on this game. It's not always pay to win. How is this not always pay to win? Because sometimes you actually pay to lose. So if I will talk about any other systems as a example. If I will say I want to upgrade this weapon. And I want to go for enhancement. So if I will try this enhancement as a example. I have a chance to fail. Maybe this is chance to fail will make me go down by the way. So maybe I will waste a lot of money. So if I will say I want to get a lot of gold or anything like this, I can get anyone selling the gold and I will pay him with my visa card for sure or whatever credit card. And I will take this gold from him and I will try to upgrade this. So if I will upgrade this, I will fail and fail and fail and fail and maybe I will say it's successful and fail again and it's successful and I will fail maybe millions of times and I will fail a lot of times. So if I will tell, tell me this one is pay to win, I will say it's pay to lose. So you are paying a lot of money like crazy and you will get nothing. And even after you will get this, what will happen? Nothing. You will do some damage. Okay, so what? So that's a point I hate about this game in general. It's not just to pay to win, but it also pay to lose. So if I will say truths as example, truths, you will pay a to put a lot of money on truths to get a lot of keys, whatever, how much you will spend on the sins, open the keys, and maybe you will not get any good chance or any super good chance for sure or any rare chance to get. And if you will get a rare chance, so it's pay to win. That's something normal. They don't even need to think about it. Okay, you can do anything away from this. For sure I can. For me, as a example, I went to roofs. I used my HM coins that I did from the game, from PvP, from Battleground, from Tower of Infinity, whatever the way I got it. And actually I used them for troops. 
but sales will be limited for me as a example i tend to buy more than 20 t per day so sales will be hard for me to buy more than 20 it's to uh, it's about uh, three weeks so 21 so i tend to draw more than this number but if you want as example to use like 90 or 900 t as example you will never do this with hm twins so that's a great advantage for anyone using the money on this game for sure you will lose a lot of money maybe you will not gain any good sense so it will be growing the idea for pay to lose so that's not the only thing for sure you can pay to lose on this game but there is a lot of things will make you pay like some systems term or terms or some events make you like put all a lot of items in front of you and everyone every time you open you will not take the other things and just what you got so you will make the chances doing until you reach the item you wanted precisely so you will pay a lot of money for this so it and in this item maybe at this point maybe it's pay to win but actually how many you will pay or how much you will pay for all of these things for sure you will do a lot of payment for all of these things if i will say this game is pay to win is there is any way you can or you don't have to pay for the game so you can play for sure it's yes for me all of my dears at till this day i never paid one cent, one cent on the game so you can do this for sure you can do this but a lot of things it's hard to do it like if i will say i want to enhance all of these items without paying on the gym for sure i will take super long time to do this so you are you are paying to save some money or save, sorry your time save your time as an example i'm playing the game almost about five years about it's like one month i will make it five years okay and that's my items maybe someone can come to the gym today and play in the gym for like one week one month and pay a lot of money and he will have better gears than me is that affecting me or not for sure i will say it maybe will affect me but it will not affect me and uh, you can say directly like he have better items than me so what who cares eight items what will happen to me nothing i will play like while i'm playing i will do damage like i am doing my damage he will not make me doing less damage because he paid but since when you think about it like i played for five years and he played for one day as an example and that's the same items like me or he paid and just brought a count better than mine and played so maybe the sense can be frustrating uh, i can say it depend on you actually to say for me i don't really care pay whatever you want your payment will not make me make you still the player like whatever you pay you got better account you will stay a new player or a new player or whatever how you are or whatever your skills maybe you can reach some points i can't reach it so maybe you will gain some skills i don't have but away from this you will not gain anything good like if you are not doing doing the road in pvp as a example you have years so what you will draw and lose that's something normal i am still doing pvp as a example or someone else is still doing pvp he will do better than you whatever how much you spend on the game you are not or don't know as a example mechanics on this dungeon if you don't know the mechanics and you just doing some dbs that maybe will make you die without any reason or reason from the dungeon for sure and i will not die and i am half your dears as a example so Whatever you will pay, you will never get stilled. You get stilled by your own. You get stilled by your hard work. You get stilled by understanding and knowledge and a lot of other things. So all of this thing can make you do better for sure in the game. That's how I look to pay to win on the game or how I look to the pay to win part. For sure, maybe some of you can agree with me. Some maybe can disagree with me. So whatever... How is your opinion? That's my opinion on this sense. For sure, tell me whatever you are sentient on the comments below. And thank you for watching, guys. See ya in the next video. Bye bye.